A UCSD energy expert has been hired to oversee a billionaire's dream project and a first in the world. New at 7, 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals how the transformation of a Hawaiian island could eventually help keep your energy costs down. The world's largest commercially available fuel cell. Look around the UCSD campus and you'll see the energy level is high. High enough to draw the attention of a billionaire with a plan. I think it's an opportunity of a lifetime. Byron Washam is the guru of UCSD's successful microgrid, an independent power grid relying on solar, natural gas, and waste methane. Recently, he got a call from the reps for Larry Ellison, the Oracle co-founder who bought 98% of the Hawaiian island of Lanai for more than $500 million. The former Pineapple Plantation, population 3,100, is home to a few hotels and will soon be home to a first in the world. And Washam has been hired as the architect. It's significant because it's looking to be 100% renewable. The goal, a totally independent grid drawing completely from solar, small wind turbines and other renewable sources. Technology developed for the UCSD microgrid will be used to make it happen. Add up the numbers and the results are impressive. UCSD's microgrid self-generates 90% of the electricity used on campus. The big challenge in Hawaii, maintaining a stable energy source even when the clouds arrive or the winds die down. Stored energy will help, so will precise weather modeling to determine and control the supply of energy to meet the demand. Think of it as a very large orchestra and they all have to play in harmony 24-7. If successful, it could be music to the ears of many by giving communities and utilities the ability to absorb more renewable energy into a grid, a development powered by UCSD brain power and a billionaire's dream. Michael Chen, 10 News. Another project goal is for the island's water supply to come from desalination. Walsham will work as a part-time consultant on the project until the end of the year. He believes parts of the grid will be online by the end of the year.